Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and welcome to my 2023 Christmas house tour. This is going to be a vlog style walkthrough tour, going through the different rooms of my house, looking at Christmas decorations as well as outside in my yard, looking at all the lights and outdoor decorations as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and start in what is usually my favorite little seasonal corner of my house. So every holiday, I usually put together some sort of little coffee bar station. So this is this year's setup. Got some tiny little mixing spoons, this vintage Santa mug, a couple little bottle brush trees on here. These are all my um, iced coffees. I figured I'd display some of those. I've got a little snowy art print in my frame. And then, of course, I have all my Christmas mugs out for use right now. And just over from that is my kitchen sink area. I put some little details up on the window frame. Most of those bottle brush trees as well as the sign and that wreath. I'm pretty sure all came from the Target dollar spot over the past few years. And then most of you know, I like to do little napkin cafe curtains. So I have my winter plaid ones out. Those could probably use a tumble in the dryer to get the creases out. Just got an old soap out for winter. And of course, a little winter hand towel. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of like the greens and the navies. This year I definitely incorporated more pops of red, but I usually keep the red to a minimum since it's not one of my favorite colors. I really love green though, so you will see that present a lot throughout my decorations. And then over on the door to the like mud room, laundry room, to the garage, I kept my cinnamon broom up that I had from Halloween and just kind of redecorated it for Christmas. I had this large twirly bow on here with this little pick, some faux berries and oranges. Very Yuletide kind of vibes there. Moving forward to my kitchen island and dining area. If you're a regular to my seasonal house tours, you know I am not a fan of clutter on my countertops or on my table. So I really don't decorate them for any reason usually. So here I'm just burning a older Bath and Body Works candle and I've still got my little pumpkin candle pedestal out. I truly believe that pumpkins can be rolled over to Christmas time in small doses. That's my two cents. And then over on my dining table, I have a faux floral arrangement in this antique pitcher here. I picked up all these gold poinsettias last year on clearance. I am not usually a big fan of faux florals, but since I do have cats and have to be a little bit more particular, I did put um, faux on this table since they do have a habit of jumping up here. But then on the other hand, here is my plant table with all my real plants, which my cats don't jump up here because there's no room for them to get up here even if they wanted to. I just posted a video about my indoor plant setup, if you guys haven't seen that. Of course, my favorite right now is this bright pink um, poinsettia. And then here is a look at my china cabinet. I always decorate this seasonally with a couple different seasonal touches. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. So up top here, I usually like to set out these little house village pieces. Those I think are from the Target Dollar Spot many years ago as well. And I've just got this little comfort and joy sign. I've got my two faux topiaries kind of to balance out 
the ends and had some symmetry. I've had that giant Christmas tree back there forever. I think that came from Hobby Lobby. And then I've got some thrifted brass candlesticks with some green candles in there. And then the Mary and Jesus there was also a thrifted find, which I actually have plans to give a little painted makeover to. I just haven't gotten to it yet. And then on the front of my cabinet, I have another tiny little wreath. Pretty sure that is also from the Target Dollar Spot. And let's take a little look inside. So I do store a lot of my like lesser used liquor bottles in here. So there, it's storage for that reason. But then I also like to display a bunch of my antiques and collectibles. Pretty much everything in here is either like from my family, thrifted, or bought really cheap on clearance <laughs> somewhere. So I have a couple different silver pieces displayed in here. And of course, I am a fan of the blue and white dishes. And since I put my main real Christmas tree out on my porch this year and didn't put glass ornaments on it, I decided to display a few of my glass ones in this little silver dish. I've got this little house cookie jar as well as this big house cookie jar, which I thought vibed very nicely with the tiny little houses I put on top. And we've just got some little faux greenery back there. There are years where I'm not always super happy with how my display turns out, but this year I'm definitely a fan. I really think I like how this turned out. It's like got that fancy vibe, but without being like too stuffy, if that makes sense. At least I feel like it does. First, I want to show my little oops, jingle bells I have on my door. I actually keep these on here all year. I joke that that's my home security. Not really, but also kind of true. And like I just said, this year my Christmas tree ended up out on the porch. I did make a video all about decorating this tree. I never ended up getting a tree collar for it. Looks like I need to fill that bad boy up with some water, but otherwise it's been doing pretty well. I'm kind of sad that some of these uh, dehydrated oranges not holding up to the moisture in the air. They are getting curvy and kind of squishy. It is what it is. I like the vibe. It's very wood, woodsy, woodland, nature themed. There's a lot of birds in this tree. And then with a bunch of the leftover like clippings I took off kind of at the bottom, I put together this giant arrangement here in this chinoiserie vase here. So all just a bunch of the Fraser clippings. And then I did put some faux berries just to kind of do a pop of color. And I added one little bird to sit on a branch. Somehow these mums from the fall are still hanging on. I have no idea how or why, but they're there, so I'm gonna let them live their life. Now we are in my front entrance foyer area. And then I have this thrifted, I guess like buffet credenza, you would technically call it here that I use as more of an entry table. So 
I usually decorate this seasonally as well. So I have a nice bowl, lettuce bowl of some more of my gold glass ornaments. I added a couple more of those. Uh, these are more clippings from my tree. Thrifted Mary and Jesus. I think that came from at home last year. Again, it was definitely clearance. That is secondhand vintage. And I picked up two of these little guys from Ikea this year. They were like $2 a piece or something. I need to find little pots to set them in that kind of make them look a little fancier than this, but that's fine for now. So that's all that's going on right there. And then if we swing around to the door, I put a wreath on the opposite side of the door this year as well. That bow is looking a little rough. It's kind of crushed. Probably need to make this thing a new bow for next year because that's looking a little rough, but I'm pretty sure this was a clearance find from Target a few years ago. I love this, like, I think it's like meant to look like juniper and it's got some of these berries and pine cones in there and I stuck some of the like gold accents in there and obviously added the bow but i really like this style of greenery and from the front foyer why don't we make our way into our main living room since my Christmas tree is outside on the porch this year, this room definitely doesn't have as much festiveness going on as it normally does. But what I did do is put my Christmas tree that I normally put in my home office down here. So I had a little bit of festive something. I'm pretty sure last time I did a home tour, I was like, by the next home tour, I'm gonna have artwork in those frames. I lied. I actually did get artwork printed for them, but the printer messed up the sizing I requested and then blew me off. So I actually am going to place the blame on them for that one. Get that figured out hopefully, hopefully by the next tour. But what I can brag about finishing is my coffee table. I had a secondhand, very dumpy looking coffee table for like the past two years. I picked it up on Facebook Marketplace for like 20 bucks, but here she is. I'm very proud of it. I think it looks great. And just like I like my kitchen table and countertops, I don't usually care to decorate my coffee table either. If I do, it'll be something small because we actually eat off this table all the time and use it all the time. So I don't like to keep it cluttered with stuff. And I also didn't want to clutter it up when I want to enjoy my hard work I just finished doing. But I do have to give a shout out to this beautiful coffee table book one of my best friends sent me for Christmas. Absolutely obsessed. I've been leafing through it. It's just the most amazing interior eye candy. So, I thought that was the only thing I really wanted on my coffee table right now. And I brought out one little swatch of red <laughs> for the holiday season. I actually really don't own any Christmas pillows now that I think of it. These are my pillow covers that I put on during the fall. Again, I actually, I don't own any holiday colored pillow covers. So I would love to purchase these exact same ones in like the dark emerald green color for Christmas and the winter months. So. Eventually we'll get there. And then for the little Christmas tree that I decorated in here, I decided to go all blue and green. So you will see that that was my theme on here. All mostly dark navy blues. We've got some poinsettias in there and then different shades of green as well. I definitely think it turned out pretty well. Good mix of solid color bobbles with some more like personal fun ones. Got some cats. And again, most of these I think I picked up on clearance last year. I know I got a huge set of these green ones. And then 
over on my two built-ins here, I always do holiday decor. I've got this faux sparkly pine guy here <laughs> and my big giant glittery pumpkin, which I totally think is absolutely still good for Christmas. And then we've got a green Santa and some bottle brush trees pine cones. I always love bringing in any sort of natural element to my decor. And then on one of my little side tables, I got another faux little green tree guy. And over here, this has kind of become my secondary work spot when I don't want to sit up in my office. I've got some of my house plants set up here with their humidifier. I acquired this floor lamp over the summer from like a garage sale. I've been on the hunt for a good shade for it, so hopefully I'll find that soon. And then over here, we've got a couple more holiday elements. This was a clearance find last year. Love that so much. I have a thing for fruits, for sure. <laughs> The shelf is actually looking a little bit bare, and I feel like I could have added a couple more things in here. Um, I just, I don't have stuff. I don't, I'm over buying things just to buy things. I wanna buy things that I truly love. And of course I went ahead and built a nice, warm roaring fire just for you guys and as per usual some background christmas vibes on the television and for the first time ever i decided to give this guy a little bit of holiday decoration those bells i'm pretty sure came from the dollar tree and i just used satin ribbon to zhuzh them up i am very pleased with how festive he looks All right, we are moving into my master bedroom suite now. I definitely don't have too much going on in here, but I figured I'd still share. We have a little wreath with some satin ribbon on the door. And then moving on in here. While I do agree that a lush bed packed full of throw pillows and tons of fluffy pillows looks great aesthetically, it is extremely impractical. And I am just not someone who would pick a design choice that is that impractical to my lifestyle. I mean, I pulled the bed together just for this video, so that's about as good as it's gonna get. I added this little winter scene toile pillow to the bed here, and then I changed my headboard backlighting to glow red to fit with the season. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like it should be green. I've had red for a while and I think green just jives with my decor a little better. Let's change that. Cool. That one's more blue. All right, green. Yeah. And then across from my bed on my little TV stand storage credenza, I just added a few things over here. So we've got some green sparkly bottle brush trees, which I think play nicely with this painting I have hanging here. And then of course we've got some Christmas vibes going on the TV in the background. And then moving around to the other side of the bedroom, got this space. I just added this Ikea shelf over here a couple weeks ago. I've been needing a lot more extra storage in my home office. So a lot of the things that I previously had displayed in there, I moved to the shelf because I need that space for business materials and all that jazz, so I decided to utilize some of this dead space in this area. We've been in this house for five years now, and since we moved in, I've known I wanted a giant leaning mirror on this wall. 
um, and I have yet to find <laughs> what I'm looking for. Also, within a reasonable budget. <laughs> I am obsessed with that viral anthropology mirror that a lot of the high-end home decor people online have. It's like over a grand, but man, it's gorgeous. And I think it would be amazing on this wall. So, you know, that might be a dream big goal for 2024, but we will see. So over here, I didn't really do much, but I'll show you guys this little shelf anyway. Obviously, I have a thing for stuffed animals and plushies. <laughs> And then moving into the master bathroom suite. As you can see, we've still got a Halloween shower curtain up. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered to switch that out. But otherwise, over on our vanity top, I just have a little, um, obviously some holiday soap. I did a little faux greenery plant situation. Got a vibey candle burning in here. And then also some nice hand towels with snowflakes. This like dark green here, that is like my favorite Christmas color. I love that so much. And then unfortunately, I did not get to my home office. <laughs> BB, what are you doing in here? Bad boy. He always steals some of my crafting supplies. <laughs> um, I just wanted to keep it real. This is the state of my home office room right now. Absolutely atrocious. I'm in the process of like reorganizing everything. I got some more drawers for this unit so I can have more storage. I've been working on orders for my Etsy shop pretty much all the entire month of November and December. So I just did not get a chance to spend the time making this area pretty that is the truth of the matter lumpy don't you steal my things oh i guess apparently the only thing i was bothered to do is display these <laughs> holiday winter themed candles along here there was an attempt made i got this last year i love this pink nutcracker Anyway, all right, we are moving to my outdoor Christmas decorations. I've got some lights, and in my last video I posted, we worked on these window boxes together. So I ended up picking up three Arbor Vitae's for each of my boxes. These were on clearance for $6 at Home Depot. Thought that was a great deal. And initially I had these little glittery pine cone wreaths sitting here, which I thought looked nice, but um, they actually got really gross and waterlogged from some of the rain we got. So I ended up just switching those out for ribbon that matches the ribbon on top of my large Arbor Vitae's, which are looking <laughs> quite windblown right now. Here is the other window box. If I had the extra means and the extra time, I would have liked to pick up two extra strands of lights to put in these two boxes. Really like that I was able to weave my English ivy that's growing in here through the, the garland. I think that's like a nice little extra touch there. And then moving around to my porch. I used to do a garland around my door, but the one I had like got all gross. But one of my goals for clearance shopping this year is to find a new one. And then I have just my columns wrapped in lights. And then we also did some fairy lights together around my little boxwood topiaries here. They're fake. <laughs> and then of course we've got the Christmas doormat. This one was a clearance find somewhere last year, layered on top of my buffalo check there. And we added in some of those orange peels together, I think in my last video. They're kind of squishy and doing the same thing that the ones on my tree are doing. But again, oh well, I still like the look of them. I think they add a nice extra detail to this wreath and I can just yoink them off there when I take this 
wreath down, so all good. And here is a quick daytime look. I guess daytime. It's dusk now, but before they light up of the big boys. I finally got help from Sam to put the hats on. Doesn't it look so festive? I love it so much. Look at how good it looks. They fit perfect. They have the right amount of stretch. His his noggin was a little, a little tough, but they work. So they definitely look more effective when they're lit up, which, boom, now it's dark. If you are still with me and made it to the end, I want you to know that I appreciate you so much. Thank you for joining me for my Christmas home tour. I hope everyone has been having a magical holiday season and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.